Can I quickly have your attention, please? We are all going to rise for the national anthem being played by AJC's Sasahara song. This will be the opening. Please stand for the national anthem. Welcome to Lone Star Sumo on YouTube. We are here in Dripping Springs, just outside of Austin, at a place called Dreamland. We have gathered some of the best sumo wrestlers in the nation, competing in four different weight classes, both men and women, and we are here to learn today who are the best wrestlers in the nation? We have Rikishi from the state of Texas, from Florida, from California, from Colorado, from North Carolina, and just about anywhere else you can think of. And we have a special guest in the booth today, Leslie and Laura from Sumo Kaboom Podcast. And they will be joined by Americus. I will be popping in and out for the intermissions on between weight classes. But right now, let's get you to Leslie, Lori, Lori and Americus. On. There we go. We're live. Hey, okay. we're live. Hey. We're live. You guys, we finally figured it out. We figured that it was, out. <laughs> that was like brain surgery. Oh my God. <laughs> so this is Sumo Americas here. And this is one half of Sumo Kaboom here. We are live at the 2021 National Sumo Championship, June 19th. June That's 19th. what today is. Yeah, we're in and Dripping now, Springs. Was it a concert now made a federal holiday? That That is right, our newest holiday. Uh, see, there's Leslie on the live stream hugging Derek. <laughs> You're our announcer today, yes? All right. Live commentary. <laughs> All right. We're here. We're glad you guys are here. Oh, hey, Nick Biggs has already signed into our live stream. That's right. Also, Sean Nichols, thanks for the heads up. We should try to make sure we're recording recording a save file. Yeah, we're going to try to figure out how to do that. But I mean, you know what? We're was, not the most techie people in the world. It was we're literally gonna try. like I just gave birth. And, <laughs> and I you wasn't didn't do a and thing. And I didn't do a damn thing other than <laughs> sit there and stare in. Um, I'm gonna, I used all of my brain power in the last 45 minutes. Justin, John. All right, we have Justin Jones, and I missed the Justin other Justin Jones on the west. Yeah. You aren't that loud to me. Okay, he's, thanks, he's Sean. He's on the east side, yes. 
Justin Jones? Yeah, I don't have no list here, so I'm... <laughs> <laughs> We're flying by the We're seat of our pants leader. here at the 2021 <laughs> National Sumo Championship. All right, guys. It has begun. Okay, thank you, Nick. Nick says our audio sounds good. Okay. So here we go. All right, guys. And gals. Guys and gals today. Men and women competing. Cats and dogs living together. Mass hysteria. Oh, yeah. Sean Nichols, you should definitely come to our Vegas one. Oh, here we go. Yes, the action has started. Oh, oh no, oh, false start. not quite. False start. We got a mata. We have a false start. They'll reset up again, the folks. Okay. I know, out of the, the gate. The ref signaled everyone won on Winner. that round. He signaled right and then left and then right. Did, all right, we've got a winner. Our first winner in the lightweight div uh, division. All right. Sorry, folks, I have no paperwork in front of me, so just bear with us yep. at the moment. Hey, Derek. Oh, we got a... Was that Justin, that one? We no, no. That... Wade. Wade. Okay, Wade won that last find round. i list. <laughs> and then after that, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Can you send that to me? Paper Folks, just enjoy watching it. I'm trying to get the uh, paperwork, but I don't think I'll be able to. We'll just have to wing it, folks, here at the Sumo Americas here. We're watching the men's lightweight division. Oh, here's the... I'm sending you all the brackets to you. Just sent you all the uh, brackets. Oh, fantastic! After that, we're on our own. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice Oshidashi win there. Then pushed out a force yeah. out. And we're trying to get the camera fixed here in a minute. Thank you guys for being so patient. It may just take us a little bit. We know it's a little overexposed, but... Oh, uh, let's see. I don't know uh, how to but, fix that. But we will uh, address it as the day goes on. It's 2.2 pounds per Guys, one kilogram. <laughs> this is Texas sunlight weather. <laughs> I wish I could set that. I don't know where the settings are for the camera. We will figure that out. Okay, I love how in the chat you guys are answering each other's questions. It's fabulous. <laughs> yeah. The lightweight class is Hi, 80, 85 kilograms, and that is 187 pounds. So these are guys under 187 pounds. That is Jake Book on the left of your screen. That is the west side, I believe. And on the east side, do you have the bracket? Who's on the east side? Uh, let's see, who's that? Uh, I With the longer hair? <laughs> I gotta look it up. Oh. All right. Uh, light, light, light. Okay, there it is. Light. Oh, that's uh, Gabe. Gabe. Gabe Eunuch. Okay. Gabe Eunuch? Eunuch, yeah. I see. Okay. Okay, so Chad's on the west side. Man King on the east side. Men's lightweight division oh, matchup. Yeah. And uh, we will ask about changing the ref to the other side. Um, I, yeah, I wish I could do that, but uh, it's already said now. Sorry, guys. You, you've been seeing the uh, referee's ass on there. <laughs> <laughs> it's you'll a be very seeing nice. The referees from the backside all day long. It's very nice. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, 
we don't we're, we need a professional camera crew set up for this but sorry guys okay, we're we trying go. to do our best here we go okay. we got a nice ooh, ooh. nice actuatory attempt Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, nice. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, here we go. Nice longer bout for you. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Come on, folks. Group for your group. Group for your wrestler. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, bring in the boom. list and everything. Yeah. Oh, hold on. If Referee uh, officials uh, are contesting the decision or questioning I the decision. I think that's good because we'll see it what looked like he went next. down first. I know. I think maybe questioning, you know, somebody stepped over the ring. Uh, or I whoever fell, off, uh, well, fell down first. Yeah, it looked to me like he, he fell down first. But we'll guys, I wish, we can, I wish we can change the OG, uh, the referee, to switch sides, but unfortunately it's already been said like that, so... Sorry, you got to see referee ass uh, uh, throughout the tournament. <laughs> I wonder and what this mono e is about. I I will say when I was watching over here the ring, it looked like I mean he was gripping onto that ring with his toes. I was amazed at the amount of strength. Um, what an incredible match! Think about if you didn't have your coffee, I think that <laughs> that match probably that would did up. it for us. That's yeah, right. That's a wake up call I mean, right there. Folks. They're exhausted. Uh, Ruth, really Ruth Outhouse, you've got two people that are in the competition today. <clears throat> Fantastic. You'll have to let us know who you are rooting for. Ruth? <coughs> yeah, and Sean, we're wondering if his arm hit first or not as well. Exactly. Yeah. That's what the mono E is probably about. Hey, folks, I hope you're enjoying it. This is a long one. The crowds are coming in. We need some instant replay. Here we go. We're going to find out who won. I know. Texas Sun here. Ooh, a rematch. Do we get a rematch? We're going to get a rematch? Yes. Oh, boy, here we go. Wow. Oh, All right, two for the price of one, everybody. That's what we love. Let's go. Oh, Ruth. Okay, Ruth is. Okay, here we go. Then I'll come back to you, Ruth. Ruth out Push, 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 push. Oh! All right. <laughs> oh. That was another exciting one. Winner, Chad. Okay. Chad gets the win. Nice. Oh, you're nice. making? Wait, wait, wait. Chad's on. Oh, that's Chad. Okay. There's Chad. Making. All right, Menken one. Actually, Mankin. Okay. Also got okay, Ruth, I just want to say I'm glad you're here supporting your boyfriend and, and his nephew. nephew. All right. Here we go. Nice. Ooh, he's nice. Quick. Quick off the touch, guy. All right. Going to the leg pick. involved in that too. Well, fantastic. All right. I love it when people are, are supporting their family like this. So wow. Joseph is the winner. Yeah, that was right. well done, guys. It was you a little hard to see behind the Gyoji, but that's okay. Christopher is on the uh, right west side, screen. which is the right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right and Alex is on the east side, which is the left. Yeah. If you can follow that, guys. Yeah, it's backwards. <laughs> it's really confusing. No worries. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go with right and left. Yeah, right and left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
need like yeah, I need like stickies. I wish you can do the uh, like the whole graphic thing. That would I be know, cool. wouldn't it be great? <laughs> Okay. Keep putting that energy out there. We've got the same buns out view as you guys do. Yeah. So. And hi, Hedgy Cleric. We're also friends of Eris Armstrong. Checking in. All right. So we've got Jake on the left of your screen on the east side, which we know is backwards and is weird. On the right side of the screen. Yeah, after this, I have no idea what's going on. Nicholas, I believe. Nicholas and Jake Book, okay. Okay, Nicholas Jake on the, on the left, um, Nicholas on the right with the. Uh, oh! Yeah. Oh! oh! Nice save. We prefer to call it the second place bracket <laughs> rather than the losers bracket. <laughs> but right now the Gyojis are focusing on the sumo as they should. But you should see the setup. It's it's not uh, easily movable. So we're if you guys will just give us a little bit of time. That's not Andrew, is it? No. 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 Uh -uh. No, they're on deck. Oh, they're on deck. That okay. No, it's making more <laughs> sense. Okay. Oh, you're just confusing me. Oh, it's all good. <laughs> Justin on the right. Ooh. Oh, oh right. solid win. Justin, yeah. Justin from Dark Circle Sumo won that match. Justin Kisser takes the win on that right. matchup. Okay, so there's Andrew on the right. Mm -hmm, on the left side. And remind me again, the guy on the left, his name? Guy on the left. Oh, that's uh, Gabe. Gabriel. That's Gabe right. Eunuch. Eunuch. Gabe Eunuch. Yeah. We're learning all these wrestlers with you. Andrew Freund. Yep. On the right. Gabe Eunuch on the left. left. Men's lightweight division matchup. Yep. We've given up on East and West because it's reversed here on the camera. <laughs> so we're just going to right and left. I remember this side to left. I just remember this is West. Yep, Dark Circle on uh, Facebook Live is going well, and then uh -huh. the captioning is Close. actually working. Okay, we're going to start that again. There's a lot of notes for the judges here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yes. another one. Okay. Uh, two VIPs. Okay, the VIP ones, okay. Uh, so it's the C A G usually. Oh, oh. They have to align their breathing. Maybe a little bit of nerves coming into play here. Well, and doesn't the Gyoji start start it here? They tell them exactly when to start. Yeah, they'll say Hakyoi. Yeah, so everybody's got to get their hands down, and then the ref starts everybody off. Mutual agreement. There we go. Ooh, we got like a Notawa. All right. He's got the. He's trying to keep him off his belt. It's a little bit of an awkward stance that they've yeah. ended up in here. 
is trying to go for the makikai. Oh, they're gonna switch. Can't do the neck. Can't do the over the neck. Making sure Andrew is okay. A-N-E-R-I-C-U-S at AOL.com. And that's two VIP? Yeah, uh, 100 all together. What's really cool is that this is kind of a learning event for a lot of wrestlers too. And they come from many different grappling sports and they're coming to sumo and they're learning kind of in the moment um, what works and what doesn't work, what's allowed. And obviously it's different for professional sumo. Uh, but they're all coming together and kind of getting a, a what you can and can't do to keep everyone safe. I do like the way they check and make sure Andrew's neck is okay. Yes. There we go. Back into it. Yeah. Go through? Uh, just a second. So this is a one who wasn't there. Yeah. So oh, they're, okay. they're figuring out how to start the fight with different hand placement. Right. All right. So it's similar, but they're going to keep going. There we go. Okay. Just can't grab the neck. There we go. There we go. Got it. Thank you. Just uh, get through your uh, wristbands. That was a pull down. Winner. Ooh, Andrew Frost. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I believe we had a hand touch the ground before he fell. And we've got a mono E. Uh -oh. I saw Tom Zabel's hand go up, Official. so he must have seen he must have seen something from this angle. Yeah. There we go. We're oh yeah, back. don't worry. We're, we're back. We're back. We're, we're here. Just, we're experimenting with the technology over here. You don't right, need to hear us. Yeah. Back into you the doyo for final official de uh, decision. Stand by. We bow. Winner. Oh, Andrew Fong oh, takes Andrew, the win. Andrew won. Right. By official decision. Yeah. And uh, maybe you guys later in the day we can bring uh, a Gyoji over here to to the live stream and have them explain a little bit more about what they're looking for as they ref here and how similar or different it is from professional sumo. Um, I think that might be really interesting. I believe the women's schedule is going to go after the men's today. I think we're doing all the men. All and the then, men's lightweight, I think, first. And then we'll jump into the women's. Switch to the men, uh, women's lightweight, I hope. Women's lightweight? Yeah. I hope. <laughs> yeah, good yeah. question, Bill. Some of this is changing on the fly, yeah. so just have a little bit of patience. We're learning as well. <laughs> I like the way the Grand Sumo Breakdown yeah. guys are taking very thorough notes. Better. All right. Yeah. Our, our, oh, here we go. That's epic. gotta hurt. Yeah. That was an outside uh, Ted and a Fuji type <laughs> of lift up and out business going on there. Yes, Mark. Yes, I see you're having oatmeal at my star uh, favorite Starbucks. <laughs> right. Let's go, Chris, let's go. Got the good. Come on, come on, come on. Come on push, 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 push. Let's push. Oh. Oh. Right. Left side, outside. Yeah. We've had some nice balls 
seats here next to the camera for you. We pay extra for that. These are the sand seats, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lightweights are keeping it fun and exciting for us here. Joseph Ponsetto. And there's a Tyler and there's a Wade. I'm just now listening to the audience and people screaming for their friends. Yeah, we'd love to. We'd love to. Hoku. We'll do that. We originally had two cameras, one on us and one on the, uh, the oh, action. Yes. Four, five. We don't know anything about hadlocks that are legal in sumo. There, there are some <laughs> but headlocks might, <laughs> <laughs> might, or might not be. <laughs> oh, thank you. Head. The head. Yeah. yeah, we got you. We got you. It depends. Yeah. There are some things that differ. There's some, like, I don't believe you can do, like, a... Oh, America's maybe you know. What are the differences in... in uh, professional sumo about what's allowed and what's not allowed. Um, I believe there's some things, not necessarily a Notawa attack, well, there's but been some the face slaps and then, Yeah, the uh, open-handed face slaps open -handed. you're not allowed to do in upper level. You yeah. can only do that in professional sumo. I mean, sumo. it slides up there. We've seen professional matches done that way. Okay. Well, and I would think with international sumo, they want to keep people as safe as yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, the, the prevent injuries and stuff exactly. like that. Exactly, yeah. But you know, the rules keep changing us. <laughs> I know. All right, who we got up here? Now? James, uh, I'm reading your chats here. I'm really glad there's no eye pokes in sumo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an illegal, uh, that's definitely illegal. see folks we're all on Facebook YouTube I think we have a, a twitch account set up on dark circle sumo so you can also watch it there live I think uh, but that's uh, primarily uh, Facebook live and YouTube live here we go more action Let's go, Chris. Come on, Chris. Oh. Oh. Well, we got a close that? view on that one yeah we did There you go. There we go. It's a nice crowd here today, a lot of support. Justin and Nicholas. That was Justin that just won. Mm -hmm. In the chat, people are explaining how they do their own slaps and sumo, <laughs> like how far away you can be. <laughs> we got some slap technique talk going on in the chat. I think I fell victim to a few of your slaps as a small child. I never <laughs> My big slapped sister. you. No, I've never slapped a soul. I wouldn't know what to do. A lot of these wrestlers flew in from all over the country. I mean, people from Florida, Ohio. Okay. Nice camaraderie. Yeah. Any 
you guys have been fighting for this title? All right. There is, let's see. Well, no, 14. 14. One, two, yeah, 14 okay. uh, lightweights. Awesome. 14 guys in this division. Yeah, we have 14 competitors in the lightweight uh, men's division. Nice. I love it. DC is on top of it. This is like the only commentating I've ever done where like the people in the chat right. are more knowledgeable than I am. I love Florida it. Sumo. <laughs> Florida Sumo. By the way, Sumo Kaboom is going to be in Florida. Uh, oh. Oh. oh! Wow! Oh, wow! Wow! That was a beautiful Osidasi. Yeah, that was definitely a real wow. out there. There's some spirit. Um, that was decisive. Um, how many wristbands we got left? Um, Justin ate his Wheaties this morning. For oh, sure. Um, right now we're sold out, but they can. Okay, obviously, if your name is Justin, you're doing really well you're today. You're doing great. Yeah. yeah a, lot of, a lot of successful Justins here. <laughs> Very cool, sleek hairline. That's right. He looks nice and sharp in the yeah. white outfit. We always joke that it looks like a soda soda shop outfit. <laughs> yeah. You want ice cream from this KOG, but uh, they're far more serious than that and very skilled. Once you have the grip on the belt, uh, you have a better advantage. Is it? We're yeah. still on. We're still on. Yeah, we're still on. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want to mess with that. Job of he keeping did. Justin I mean, off his kept, belt. Uh, he kept his hand at a distance. He kept low, but yep. uh, unfortunately, uh, brute strength took over on him. Yep. And his name is Justin. Justin Jones. <laughs> All Justins in the house. <laughs> yep. Justin's in the house. <laughs> See that? Oh, that, that is a beautiful Are goatee. you telling me that that's not? It matches his outfit. Yeah, it's fierce. pure white. I know. Okay. It covers his bow tie beautifully. Is he really pure white? How many Justins <laughs> are in this game? How many? Bleached. No. I think it's all natural. How it's many natural. Justins are in this class? It seems like there's at least three right? or four. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, it could be 12 out of 14. I know, right? <laughs> They're all Justins in lightweight. Oh, we'll find out what club he's from. Do you know what club um, Justin Jones is from? Oh, I don't remember off Florida? Hand. Not sure. Yeah. Y'all watching, let us know. Yeah, just keep asking questions. We'll head out and bring someone over that can answer them. Ooh. Whoa! Ooh. Yeah. Oh! Woo! That was dynamic. Woo. Yeah, and... Um, San Diego, if he's not mistaken. Okay. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, and you guys, these guys are doing sumo on these little bitty foam pads. And then beyond that, 
it seems like maybe it's just a concrete floor underneath. So if you are, um, we're familiar with some of these guys, but not all of them. This is kind of a bit of a new world for us, but we're absolutely loving learning about it. So we'll share what we know about these wrestlers if we know something. All right, here we go. We got Justin on the right. Tyler on the left. Tyler on the east. Before. We're going to wait until this bracket is done and yeah. then put a request into the judges to see if they can flip to the other side. Yeah, but we'll see. You'd hate to see us just interrupt the whole thing and be like, um, I'm sorry, but can you all have everybody stand on the other side? I know you're doing a competition here, but uh, we're working on it. Thanks for letting us know. All right, folks, I got to check on the thing to make sure we're still running. Okay. Justin on the right is from Dark Circle Sumo. This is his channel that you're watching on YouTube. Woo, it's getting hot out here in yeah. Texas. Oh! oh. Justin just stepped out of the ring. Yeah, just stepped backwards. Oh, yeah. man. Oh. Good effort. I say we play a drinking game. Everyone at home, if someone mentions in the chat anything about moving the camera. Here we go, up. folks. Justin Kizzard on the right. Justin and Justin Jones. Jones on the left. Yes. Yes, it is an open This air is the cup. men's lightweight matchup. Battle of the two Justins. Here we go. That's our nickname for this one. I like <laughs> <that>. <laughs> oh. Okay, we got a battle of the two Justins All right. in the lightweight division. They are not aligned. 21 National Sumo Championships. Give them a second to get. We have Justin on the right and Justin on the left. Hello, Dallas Sumo Club. Hello, Patricia Doba oh. Dobashi. Kahuna Dakine. Hi, everybody. Glad you're watching us live. We're at the Sumo Championships. Here we go, the battle of the two Justins. Here we go. Justin and Justin. Oh! 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 Caught him off balance. Oh! Justin Jones takes Justin the win on Jones that one. Here's the official. Way. Yep. Justin Jones Justin takes the not win. I'm very happy about that. Yeah. Yeah, Justin I've done Jones. that myself. Oh, I get the. Uh, I've gotten into that situation myself and lost. We know the event was sold out. It's just yeah, we have uh, 150 general mission and 14 of VIPs. Okay. Plus, plus wrestlers, the plus their families, some of their families, and then we got the freebies yes. behind the fence. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and there's a good amount of freebies behind the fence watching. <laughs> it's pretty awesome to see. These two guys are going for the lightweight title. All right, Joseph Ponsetta versus Justin, Justin Jones again. Justin on the left, Joseph on the right.
Division. I think we're, uh, we're going to women like weights next. We have a bit of a. This is Erica and Hello, Cowback. Between the light and middle weights this year, the audience got to see a demonstration from the Austin Kudo Club. It is an ancient Japanese archery. Known for its beauty and grace. If you're interested, you can find them on Facebook. So you see this video all the way back behind us. Our head is in the back. And you might be asking, how come the thing is this? Right! This is a three hour three hour. So we've got only two uh, women's middleweight, Simone Lange and Katrina Carter. So they'll do a this will be the best, best two out of three. three. Two minutes in a row. Two minutes. Yeah. All right, folks, here we go. Best two out of three. Simone Lange versus Katrina Carter. I believe there's three women in this division. No, just two. Two. Two just women. Just two on them. All right, oh. these are women. So it's going to be best two out of three. Best two out of three. Yep. of the lightweight. So uh, Simone no, has to win. we're not lightweight. We're middleweight? Oh, we're middleweight. Middle well, this is middleweight. Oh, we have no so lightweights this yeah. year. Oh, okay. I thought we did, but uh, we don't. Okay. So if there are any ladies out there who like to wrestle, the sumo world will welcome you with open arms. I mean, Chip, a light, the lightweight division. <laughs> oh, my All right. God. Okay, the next time this happens again at a national championship, one of us from Sumo right. Kaboom will just sign up. Simone so that we needs can win to win this division. and one more. <laughs> Katrina just needs one more win to take the middleweight. All right. Here we go. All right, Simone needs to win this to stay in, stay alive. Come on. I don't know Simone whether. Simone's on Simone the right. right. Katrina's on, on the left. No. That was like 110 pounds. Uh, yeah, and I've been doing it for like 16. Yeah, a lot of new wrestlers this year. Uh, these two are new to me. All right. Come on, ladies. She's got a nice inside. Ah. Oh. 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 Right. Nice. Well, Katrina will now take the win. You know, this, this is a quick one. But at least the will take silver. That's good. The winner. Uh, so 187 to 220 is our middle of weight division for men. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kelly, you're never too old. I know, that's yeah. what I was just saying. Yeah. You're never too old, Kelly. If we sign up for the lightweight division, we, I would almost, I, I technically might be in a senior lightweight Kelly, division. <laughs> Kelly, you could have won it today if you just signed up. That's yeah, right. you could have you won by default. You could have brought home a gold medal, Kelly. <laughs> Wow, that could have been a game changer there. I know. This is, I think we just continue going just to this. Just be present. That's just, all. You have to be just present. Just so we can sign up and be the only person in there. Right. Nice. right. Nice. And if you guys have noticed, the Yoji is now on the other side. You have no idea what it took for that to happen. <laughs> I did agree to go on a date. Uh, 
with one of the sideline judges. Oh, did you? Uh, no, I didn't. Colonel but, Sanders? Yes, I agreed to go on a date with Colonel Sanders. Uh, okay, Kelly, I'm making a deal with you, Kelly McDougal. You can still do SUMO 54, severe arthritis. I'll do it with you. And uh, it, very it'll kind. be the senior sumo division, and we'll just give each other compliments until one of us steps out of the ring. That'll yeah. be our sumo. It'll be loving. It'll be like a hug. It'll be like a hug <laughs> until someone steps out of the ring. Yes, that'll be our kind of sumo. That's my brand of sumo. Sorry, you guys are going to have to hear our nonsense all day. All right, here we go. Played it nicer to me. Right. Like, I don't know. Here we go. Okay. So Men's middleweight. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, Ryan. Ryan. Just about to the sideline judge. Jonathan. Now, one thing about Jonathan, he's at a Dallas, our Dallas Sumo Club, I believe, and he is very, very new to Sumo. He comes from a football background. Oh, all right. He was a linebacker. And um, despite losing there, I think it, being that he just started sumo is showing a lot of promise. It's exciting to see him there. We love to see new players in here. Yeah, we're trying to get the names too. We don't have a list, so we're we're doing as well as we can to get their names as well. Oh, okay. Your meal ticket. Yeah. All right, here we go. More uh, men's middleweight action right here. Yeah. Did you really have to agree to go on a date with someone to get no. the judges to go to the other side? No. I love that. That's Les working hard. Here we go. Here we go, folks. Okay. Nice. We've got a shallow grip here. Oh. 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 we got the left hand outside. Right hand inside. You got, the, you got the leverage. He's lifting up. He's moving forward. Oh. That was an Uatanaga or a Shitatanaga. Yeah, I, can't, I couldn't. I have to uh, look at the tape on that yeah. one. Yeah, but it was a beautiful throw. And Micah Three. takes the win on that right. one. How many guys? Ten? Nine. 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 Uh, Kevin, yeah, we'll wait for a little break in the action. Kevin, to tell you a little bit more about ourselves. You can also follow us on um, Instagram, Twitter, and find our podcast, Sumo Kaboom. We're, uh, we're all across all the social media platforms. That way you can see our faces. <laughs> Flip the camera around after this fight, and maybe we'll do a quick intro. All right. Ooh, all right. Okay, wait for the Maki Kai. All right. Whoa. Beautiful. That's some power right there. That is you some know what? Power. Right when you go into that Maki Kai, the, the grip switch, you always get a vulnerable moment, and he sees that, and he pushed him back. I mean, is that wins. a sumo wrestler or is that a sumo wrestler? Aaron I mean, look at Andre that. He wins for traps. Well done, Aaron. Best traps. Wow. Best taps <laughs> or best oh. traps? Traps, 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 and taps. Traps, traps, and taps. 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 We don't need to know his name. We're just going to call him Traps, Taps, and Taps, and Laps. Yeah. Okay. While these guys are... Okay, so I just checked the weather. It's now up to 88 <laughs> degrees well, that's out pretty. here right outside of Austin, which is actually cool that's for cool Texas. For us. We've been Texas in the hundreds cool lately. Yes, that is amazingly right, cool. Here we go. All right, well done. He just simply moved forward. Nice yeah. driving him out. And if you are watching this, you're accustomed to watching Japanese professional sumo. This is a little bit different. These guys set up. The judge waits for everybody to get all their hands to the ground, looking at each other, and then they start on the hockey way from the judge. Thank you for saying our faces are lovely. That's very nice.
Oh, who's left? Who's middle? Okay. Oh, Americus is in the middle. What? <laughs> People are asking who is no. whom. Captain, yeah, Captain Americus is the sumo wrestler, so he's real are easy. Are they talking about the, the judge or? All right. All right. Christopher Hawden uh, takes the win on that. Christopher. Beautiful. Christi Christopher. Christopher wins that one. Yeah, yep. but Jonathan really did a great job. Yes, he did. He just kind of got backed up into the ropes or the bales. He didn't have much room to re-maneuver. Match? Wrestlers are getting taller. Um, Can I just find you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're so welcome, Jennifer. We uh, we heard everyone's uh, request okay. and um, they were able to, to move everyone. So hopefully yeah, from here on out you can well, see no worries. I'm here, so that's yeah. everything really well. Matsunash, getting ready. So excited to see if that works. Nice. Okay. And you might have to accept me. Exactly. Okay, that was the way it's. We don't have a mono weave, so we're going to go ahead. I would, oh, there it is. Yeah, I think his arm went down first. Oh, I think we're going to have, right here. I think we're going to have a reversal, but we shall see. We shall see. Tom's able to put his hand up. He is uh, one of the head, the head Gyoji here. And uh, so I think he may have seen something different. You know what I'd like to say? We all say in sumo, oh. buns out, suns uh, out. Isn't that what they say? Suns out, buns out. We always love it to see these guys in Mawashi. Okay. We love it. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. All right. Oh, we're going to have a rematch? No, but let's see. Oh, okay. It did. Okay. a lot about that dead body rule and establishing what that is. Did they reverse it? No, no. They kept it as is. Oh, they did? Um, yeah. But, you know, when you when you do watch professional sumo, it's like a fine line sometimes, this dead body rule. And it depends. It just depends. The darn dead body rule. I know. It is a very gray area. We talk about this on our podcast all the time. At what point do you is become your, a is your dead body? body? <laughs> At what your point in dead? a throw? Yeah. But you know, there's so many times we do watch professional sumo and we don't, we're like, I don't know. We, we have this, we have the slow-mo cam so we can see it again and get it right. But still sometimes they see something completely different out there that we see on the camera. I agree with you, James. I would have reversed that call, but that's okay. Here we go. That's probably why I'm not a judge. We got Tats Lats. <laughs> tats Lats on the west. Oh. Oh. Tom, it says Tom will know, and you know and what? Tom sure just yeah. corrected and us. Tom yeah, sure did. Tom, Tom turned know? around and said, "Yes, we did reverse that call." And you went. There's okay. Tats and Lats giving you a walk by. Uh, oh you're God. welcome, ladies. Oh, hey, yeah. Gents. Oh, look at that, ladies and gents. Tats and Lats. Tats and Lats, Tats and right Lats there. Aaron Conway. That's his name. Aaron. That's in okay. text. That's, <laughs> That's the new nickname. It really is. <laughs> and she never watches sumo. 
Well, we got some cloudy weather that's making the uh, camera view look much better now. Now it's not overpowering now, which is good. Yep. We're yeah, that was that high glare early earlier this morning. Plus all the white beneath. Yeah, from everything our white. Kyo deep. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Nice touch nice here. just gripping. We love it. <laughs> Both guys were up against the ropes there and just <laughs> turned it. <laughs> nice. Just like this. And I don't think they're covering their costs with just entry fees. So if you've got a few extra bucks to throw their way, then that would be absolutely appreciated. And it is a tax deductible uh, donation if you want to under the United States Sumo Federation. So you, it is a tax deductible uh, donation. Also what you're seeing here is you're seeing this orange uh, color on the black, on the, um, on the Mawashi, on the west side. And they're working up through their queue. They're working up through their black belt. This is like Q4 level. So they're working up towards one and orange means that he's trying to qualify uh, to level up to be a black belt. If I understand that correctly, Tom was just telling me about that. No, you got five bars here. Then it'll ask for my last four is zero seven one zero. Amateur, there is. Yeah, and Sean, yeah, there's a, a lot of people taking s some defensive starts here. And uh, yeah, I think it's quite a thing to come out super aggressively. It probably takes quite a bit of training to learn how to do that safely. this the next time we go over and see if that well, has know, something to do. I'm not going to touch this. I've got water. I'm okay.
levels are levels are fine. Levels I don't know what's fine. going on. Oh. No, it's fine. We're fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. I can listen to it. I, I, it's fine. Okay. online for the Austin Kindle Club. Builders, we got bodybuilders coming in for this. Yeah, yep. definitely. We've got martial artists. All right, here we go. Here we go. Turn sumo wrestlers. Oh, Cornelius Booker. Cornelius Booker on the right. Called, right. We could nickname him Corn Roll. Corn Roll? <laughs> okay. And who is he fighting on the left? Uh, Jonathan Graves, I believe. Jonathan. Okay. He's Jonathan a newcomer. Graves. I haven't seen okay, him. Okay, Jay. Cornelius came from Florida. Okay, yeah. that's right. Beach sumo. JJ's got quite a fan club here on the chat. Right. Oh, oh. Tempted to slap down there. Hold on. Push, 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 All right, just bit by bit. There he goes. Cornelius Booker. Oh, this was a more careful matchup because Cornelius is saving his strength for the for the future matches because he usually straight up bring out the power, but he kept it nice and calm. Oh, is he known for big tachias? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Okay, that he was usually has a big burst of energy, but this, this time I just saw him, it's very conservative, he's saving his energy. Okay, Poland, All right. Sweden, the veteran, Canada. Trent Sable. And a nice Going lady about, with uh, a new guy, and a child. New rookie, uh, Andrew Rodin. So we've got Andrew on the right. Okay. On the left. On Trent the left. is on the right. Trent on the right. He's the veteran. He's the uh, one of our international gold medalists. Oh, really? He's, he's brawn bronze in the, in the world champion. Oh, sumo champion. fabulous. Okay. okay, so we have a medal winner here on the right from last year or whenever? A uh, few years back. Few years ago, okay. Yeah. He took a break last year, so he's back yeah. again, but he's, uh, he's heavier now. He's in light heavy. He used to compete in lightweight and uh, middle. On that, one. that was a surprise loss there. Trent, our medal winner, went wow, down in went the first down. round. And I've seen him on Instagram. Yeah. 
He does look like a Viking. We've got a lot of Cornelius Booker fans in our chat and here live. And also, yes, thank you for the mention. Um, the USS well, website the, uh, right. is a great resource for anybody Brandon who wants Alexander to get involved in sumo. If you want to start a sumo club in your area, they can help you. Quake Viking. Sometimes you put too much energy, you've got to be careful out here. You can get injured real quick. Well, it's honestly, it's, it's yeah, not. Yeah, he strained a, he probably strained a leg muscle there. Uh, Patrick is on the right. Patrick on the right. Jared is on the left. Jared New on guy. the left. Uh, Jared is from Dallas. Oh, he's no. one of the, is he from think, the Dallas I don't think, No, I think he came up. Uh, from uh, Dirt Circle Sumo oh, okay. to Dallas. Oh, okay. All right. I, I mean, met Jared. No, I haven't met him yet. Sumo. He's new. I know Patrick from last time, from last year. Jared has a wrestling background, oh, okay. so he's been doing pretty well in practice. Yeah, if he knows uh, the freestyle wrestling group. Yeah. yeah. You've got a good advantage. Yeah. Oh, woo! All right. woo! I've never seen that move. That I have seen in professional. really helped. All right. That's right, Patrick walked away with that one. Your next match, the West Side, Tony Brand, and this is from the East Side, Prince Sabo. All right, Trent, you better win this one. Trent has to win every match to uh, get to the finals. <laughs> he has to win this one. Okay, Kevin wrote, as a Swede, he Come does on, look Trent. like he could go Viking. <laughs> we agree. Got to win this one. Okay, Trent is our previous medalist at the World Sumo Games. World Sumo Tournament, I suppose? Yeah. World Sumo yeah. Championship. Championships. A few years ago. Thank you. Yep, so if he wants to stay in the running, he's got to win this one. Yeah, you can tell he, he packed in to. the pounds. <laughs> oh, can you? Yeah, no, he packed the pounds. He's packing pounds right now. Well, you know what? Didn't he's, we all during heavy. COVID? Didn't yeah, we yeah. all? I know I, uh, I know I did a little bit. <laughs> yeah, oh, there he goes. There. Oh, yeah. Yep, okay. Win. It was just a warm up. Yeah, the first this match is a warm up. Trent has to win every match now to get into the finals. He cannot lose now. Okay. <laughs> Trent is the Trent national is the treasure. Happy sumo <laughs> <truck. laughs> He's a national treasure. Yeah. Yeah. He also owns a bar in uh, Idaho. Oh, he's a bar owner too. I think it was in Rigby or uh, Idaho Falls. Nice. If you're in Idaho Falls or Rigby, uh, check out his bar. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Playtime is over. People are getting serious now about their sumo. I mean, we've seen some really amazing sumo today. All right, we got Brandon on the right. And Jared on the Jared left. Jared on the left. Someone who invited the Viking. <laughs> the Quake Viking. That's right. Known to some of his gamers out there. These people are also active on sumo forums and yeah, stuff, so you, yeah. you might yeah. be watching people that you can already know online. There's a quake hiking right there. Put that guy in a movie. Yeah. 
Heavyweight division. Oh, yeah. It's Cornelius Booker versus Jared. Was that Jared? Jared. Padlock. I don't remember where uh, he's he says, from. He says, he said, let's go. Oh, that's Andrew Rowan? Oh, that's that's Andrew Rowan. Okay. My mistake. <laughs> I don't have it listed over here. Ooh, nice. Okay. Andrew Rowan. Cornbread, we also wow. call them. Cornbread! Okay. Alright. As the bodies are getting bigger, the slams are also getting bigger. Thank you guys again for watching on the live feed. Super fun to have you all here, rooting for your friends. Uh, Ed's in heavyweight, right? Yeah, he's okay. heavyweight. That's right. Ed is in heavyweight. That'll be last. That's our last division? Uh, one the of second, the last. Yeah, After that, it'll be open, open, open weight. Open okay. weight will be the last division today. Okay. Loving this Hope to Fuji. Yeah, but the, the head tap is the little Takamisakari, which I adore. I love a good psych up for teams. Not ready. Not ready. Not ready. Oh, he's not ready. He's I love this guy's free sumo ritual. He's got to get it. He's got to get psyched. Come on, come on. Come on. That's a nice low crouch from uh, our Yoji. Her. been around and well, it's been out. I know. Yeah. The whole scandal. Yeah, we're good. Andrew beating. And that's, everything's fair and square. <laughs> there you go. All right, here we go. Yeah, Cornelius Booker made that look real easy. 
on the west side as she was shooting. So they don't have to be Is Cornelius Booker, was he recently injured and he's no, uh, thinking of somebody else? He had a muscle strain early, uh, a year ago, but I think he's okay. recovered from that. Okay, that may be what I'm thinking of. All right. That's Trent on the left. Trent on the left, Patrick on the right. Patrick right. on the right. Trent the trucker. Trent the trucker? Is he a trucker? He's a truck driver. Oh, that's oh, fabulous. Wow. Maybe we saw him on our way down. <laughs> Take a load, make a little money, do a little sumo. All right. All right. Forgot where Patrick's Here we go. from. Here we go. <laughs> I believe they've met before in the lightweight or middleweight uh, divisions a few years during the last few years. Oh, so both of these guys have been trying yeah, to bulk yeah, up? Yeah, yeah they've, been, uh, they've been competing. Uh, they, I think they started out lightweights and then middleweights. Okay. And now light heavies. They just like to pack the pounds in, folks. That's right. <laughs> Trent's more of a technical uh, wrestler. Uh, Cornelius is both power and technique, but uh, he's still, he's, he's only done sumo for a few years. Trent is the veteran here. He's been doing it for many, many years. Yeah, it's very hot here, hitting over 90 out here, I believe. Yep. And humidity, uh, about 80% humidity. Yeah, yes. I'm just sitting and I'm sweating it out. Yeah. Living in California, the, the uh, you get the dry heat. You get the dry heat. It's a yeah. little bit different. We have the fans going out here to try to keep it comfortable. A little bit of outdoor air conditioning, but it's not quite the same. Hopefully, we won't have too many pulled muscles today, though, with this heat. All right, here we go. Nice. Takes out okay. Trent. Okay, that was our first semifinal. All right. Man, this is really exciting to see about today. Yeah. Everyone is bringing their A-game. Andrew Roney. 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 Jacob Gill. All right, Jacob this Gill, is going to be Andrew. either power or technique on this one. Because both of them have uh, strength and power. So I don't know, it's going to be a shove match or what? Here we go, guys. Andrew on the right, Jacob on the left.
Jacob Gill on the right, Cornelius Booker on the left. Right. Oh, all right. All right, he's ready. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Start. Mata. We got a mata. False start, false start. Okay, so here we go. Okay, we're going live for the final two matches of the men's light heavyweight division. We get Cornelius Booker on the left and Trent on the right. No, uh, Jacob Gill. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob Gill. Gill on the right. The pressure is intense. Here we go. Here we go. And Cornelius takes the win. Here we go. Right. Cornelius Walker here on the left. I know. You know what I'm hoping for um, for Hakaho is that we see him do the entering Olympic. I want him yeah. front and center during the uh, Olympic opening games. And I want him to. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Here's the finals. This is the finals. Cornelius Booker has to win two matches. So he's gonna. This is a lot of work for him. So yes, Cornelius just wrestled. But now he's wrestling previous medal winner. Are you ready? Takes the win. Andrew takes the win. Andrew. Cornelius does not like that loss. And I mean, who would? listen to some taiko drumming.
Oh. Uh, we have some Marky fans here. Mike fans, Marky fans. I know we have some Eros fans. They've been waiting for her. All right, we're starting with the ladies. Ladies only, ladies. Shout out to LA, California. We have lots of people watching from California. And we know that the sumo world in California is hopping. Any part of the body besides the soles of your feet touches the ground. Jareth Graves. We've got um, some people in support of him. We have Jessica Hopper, is our uh, Goji uh, the OG, uh, in the ring, in the Doyo ring. She comes from Mighty Eagle Sumo Group in San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio. I just got her black belt. Yeah. Just, yeah. So she knows what she's looking for. Jose Galindo fans, all right. Jose, who I believe Christine is on the is poster. on the right, and uh, the lady uh, Galindo is on the left. Christina? Christina is on the right, and uh, the lady is on the left. Her name is Lady? Lady, yeah. Okay. Or Yoli? Lady. Okay, Lady. Yeah. Y A L Y. Ah, see? Okay, here we go. Okay. Here we here go. Here we go. Lady heavyweight. Heavyweight. First matchup. Yes, yes. Oh. Yeah. yes. Of course. Look at this. All right, we got a power match. Yeah. 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 That was a nice four sound right there. Woo. In there. Lady, lady. Right. Straight up here. We're on one. Yes. Oh. These are two newcomers that I, I don't know these two. Nicole okay. Burgess is on the right and Diana Bazzano okay. is on the left. I believe Nicole was in the Consulates Cup. I might be making that oh, up. Oh, okay. Was I she believe, in the con uh, Consulates? I, I feel like I remember okay. Nicole's name. But she's still new to, yeah, still new. Yeah. That is right, girl power. Yeah. So these, yes, uh, these are ladies. Yes, Lady won uh, the previous matchup. Yep. There you go. Texas. Yep. So California versus Texas. <laughs> Women's <laughs> heavyweight. Texas is on the right. California on the left. Matchup. I know Eris wants gold at Worlds, so this is really important to her. She gave us a really great interview early on in her podcast. Right. And what's amazing about Eris is that she served in our military. She's talked really openly about her struggle with PTSD. Right. And the reason why she came into sumo is really to treat and to deal with her PTSD. And the family yeah. and the people she meets. 
meets with, practices with, are her family. And so Sumo is so amazing in so many ways. It's given her a whole new family and really helped her heal in her battle with PTSD. And we also thank her for her service. She is a complete badass. All of these women are complete badass. It's in my book. So next up, we have Kellyanne Ball on the right and Nicole Burgess on the left. This one's another uh, California versus Texas matchup. Kelly Ann takes the win on that one. Right, on the drop down. Kelly Ann versus Nicole. Nicole is also working her way up through the black belt. Kelly. She has, I guess, orange is the Q4, which is the level there she's working towards her black belt. Yay! Also, one thing to notice about women in sumo is that they're actually the key to getting the Olympics to open up to sumo. Yeah. We can't have sumo in the Olympics unless you have the equality. You have to have men and women competing. And so for the future of sumo, especially if you ever want to see it on the Olympic stage, we have to have women competing. And so this is really exciting to see the women come to the sport. It's growing. Um, and it's important to have women here to bring it so to bring true. sumo yeah. up to the next level. All right, another matchup. Well done. All right. Also, you guys mentioned our Gyoji is yeah. uh, Jennifer Hopper. She is also uh, Jessica Hopper. Jessica Hopper. Yeah. Excuse me. She is also a wrestler, and we've been able to see her wrestle before. Right. Um, this time around, she is our Gyoji, um, but it's also to see another another sumo wrestler yeah. involved in some way. Yeah, she's moved up uh, throughout the years, uh, competing and then helping uh, becoming uh, official. Yeah. Are all of our officials today sumo wrestlers? Uh, or ex sumo wrestlers? Uh, current sumo wrestlers, yeah. They're all current. All current, yeah. okay. Yeah, they still wrestle to some capacity. Okay. I think Tom's kind of semi-retired out of that. Okay. He's our head judge. But they had to come in early to go through some training. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then some got trained in uh, in the internet at the, uh, from the IFS uh, referee training over there, too, as well. That's the International Federation of Sumo? Yeah. Okay.
All right, here we go. Nic uh, Nicole is on the right. On the west side. And then uh, Lady is on the left. Okay. On the east side. I mean, Eastern Europe, like Poland, Poland Australia, people, uh, Brazil. Uh, we've connected up with a number of different clubs yeah. everywhere, and we are seeing, seeing a lot of women join the sport. Yeah. And um, I think it's really important as a woman, I can say, that um, we have to get over what we think a strong woman looks like, and these women put strength and incredible sportsmanship into a great package yeah. and we see this come through in sumo today and i want to continue to see women come together ah! right Texas is on the west end, on the right. California versus on the east side. Right. Yes, there she goes. Her 
injury, we will let you know. We'll pass that along. But yeah, we hope she's okay. We've got some Darius fans out there. Marcus is not here. They're yelling at Americus. He oh, just walked scissors. out. Scissors. There's scissors. There's scissors. There's scissors in his bag somewhere. We have another scissor. We gotta get the scissors, we got strings going. And the reason being, if you've just joined us, is if you are in Sankyo, you reach down almost prior to the tachiai and the string of your muhawashi touches the ground, you officially lose. So they're actually cutting quite a few today to keep people from uh, accidentally touching the ground. All right, we have some Jareth fans, some Mitch and Marky fans, Dane fans, Eris fans, Darius fans, Caleb fans. advanced backwards and once you get once you kind of find yourself moving backwards it's really hard especially if you are not low enough okay Kyle that was Kyle Jones Kyle write this down he's writing down me
We had tats and lats earlier. We have tats and underpants. We got tats and ponytails. All right, these guys are ready. <laughs> these guys are jazzed. Yes. Ooh. A little bit. Of Dwayne and Roberto. We're learning these guys with you. You know, a lot of these people were allowed to sign up last minute to compete, yep. and like literally this morning. So we didn't have the bracket sheet because these people just came, they were inspired. They're coming from different martial arts, different grappling sports. They're coming together and they're fighting today. So that's why you see some people kind of learning in the ring. Uh, this yeah. is how you sankyo, this is how you bow, you know, whether you win or lose. Um, they're a little bit learning. There we go. Oh, got in there and just turned them back. Yeah, nice, nice sportsmanship. All right, this is Ohio sumo. I think uh, this is a lot of Ohio sumo with the. Okay, Dane. Right. Yeah, Sean, heavyweights do love to throw their weight around, and that's why we love to watch it. It's a little bit more dangerous. <laughs> Not much more weight hitting the ground or being crushed. More padding. Yeah. switch and he just couldn't get inside. So that unfortunately gave him the loss. I know. You guys can see the crowd. It is so filled in. There are so many people on the outside who are watching, looking in. They came to see the big boys fight today. Carol Graves, good job. Now you can go to church. Go to church. You get your church on. Come on. Right. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. That was fast. That was yeah. Yeah. We're in next match. On the last side, Robert Fumino. And on the east, Kyle Okay. Kyle on the left of your screen, Robert on the right of your screen. So many of these guys are brand new to us. Um, and it's really awesome to see some faces. They may be well known in your circles, but to have all these people finally here competing together in Austin is awesome. We're hoping to interview a lot of these wrestlers later today, and we'll hopefully have some interviews for our podcast coming up. Um, be released on Wednesday. Oh, nice! Wow. That was beautiful. How many people in the audience? Well, we know that like the ticket sales were somewhere around 175, that and that completely sold out. And then around the outside of that, there's another hundred plus that have just kind of gathered around to watch. People are really, really interested. And um, the people on the outside are not paying, so we can't really, um, we can't really move the camera to let you guys see, but there's a lot of people watching. I agree. It is really fun to see new faces and wonder how how it's going to go for them in their career. It, it, yeah, and this is the largest group today. This heavyweight group. We have more in heavyweight than any other uh, group. 
A lot of these guys that you're watching now are currently on the 2020 U.S. national team. We'll try to point them out when they come up again. Thank 
got the right hand inside, we've got the left hand inside as well. Nice. We just got the double grip advanced back and brought him down. are friends. You sense they're just friends. They're like, absolutely. I'm going to crush you in the ring, but we're pals at the end of the day.
glad you're back. You can tell us yes. more about these competitors because you've been wrestling them for years. No, there is some newcomers here. Yeah. There's some newcomers here. There are I haven't some... met them yet. But uh, they've been training. Right. We got the Mawashi fixed. Now we're back oh. in. We got the double inside. He's lifting up the chest and advancing him backwards. Simple throw out there. Yep. brother wrote a song dedicated to him, his brother, about this competition today. It was really sweet. But there's a lot of love. Let's go. A lot of family support, and that's so cool to see. A lot of our relatives don't really understand why we love this. So it's always nice to see family that does. So we're running a little bit late schedule wise. We we're hoping to have the open weight division started by two, but we're still working through the heavyweights right now because this was a big division. There were over 20 guys in this men's heavyweight. Come on. Come on, get low. Uh, what's the difference between the white and the black belts? Not really anything. And um, Makauchi, and the black would be below that. Yeah. But in international sumo, the, the same rules do not apply. So it just is whatever Mawashi you want to work with.
He has worked so hard for this. He was so nervous coming in today and excited coming into today. And um, he was in good. Pull it together and win. It's nice. how he does here. Caleb, so he was able to move him back pretty easily. 
That's Jordan. Uh, Jordan. Sykes. No. Uh, no. I forgot who the guy on the right is. You know anything about Jordan? Jordan? No, Jordan. Oh, no, not Jordan. No. Yeah. No, that's Kyle. Is it? Oh, nice. Well, it's uh, 
East Coast, West Coast battle. All right. can fly and they move. Yeah, that was impressive. <laughs> Look at that little piece. <laughs> uh, it's not I much came prepared. I tried, but it's, there's no wind, no, no, wind? no, air, no, wind? no air flow. Not you much. It up really close. Yeah, you have to like no. be I'll, careful you, for, your, <laughs> for your nose. I'm fine. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> Oh! 
Remember, this is coast-to-coast -coast battle. Jordan Sykes from Florida, Jose Galindo from California. It's the East Coast versus the West Coast. Okay, we're getting down to the finals. Heavyweight champions of 2021. Folks, if, you want, if you're in, uh, t in the Austin, Texas area, we'll be at the uh, Texas uh, Sake Company. Hey! Absolutely, how many do you want? You got it. 